Well, I was able to visit with the director of CLEAT, Dr. Larry Burney. Dr. Burney, how much has training of law enforcement officers, how much has it changed in recent years? Well, I think you'd be surprised at the evolution of law enforcement, just like the evolution of education in colleges and universities. We went from basically classroom style, setting lecture, learning it to beginning to understand how the adult mind works a little better. And so today we try to get out of the classroom more. We try to teach some on the classroom, then go outside and practice what you learn so that it sets better. Uh, we found that adults don't learn very well sitting in classrooms over long periods of time. Students do because they're used to it from a young age. But when you get out of college or you get out of high school, you go out in the world and then you come back and you're forced to sit for eight hours a day, it really doesn't work very well for adult learning. So today we're seeing a lot more hands-on, a lot more demonstrating and a lot more moving out of the classroom to learn and practice what, what is being taught. And, and this is an education that is certainly for maybe a certification, but uh, could also save a life. Oh yes, it's a, there's a lot more to law enforcement than a lot of people sometimes give passive uh, knowledge of. In other words, there is. There's the life saving of others. There's the being able to protect yourself in dangerous situations. There's learning how to calm situations when, when uh, tempers get, get out of control. You have to de realize that for the majority of time when people call the police, they're not happy. They're calling police because some traumatic is going on in their lives and they're looking for us to step in and, and be that solid person that they can count on to be not only give them good advice but to take care of the situation and calm them down so training today covers a m much wider spectrum than just kind of like the law and shooting and driving that it did uh, years ago. With the increased threat of terror from abroad and, and maybe even internally how has that affected what you do here? I think it's made us look a lot more inside ourselves uh, to see what needs to be done. In other words, it's not just protecting yourself from the guy who goes crazy or the bad, bad guy anymore. Terrorist takes all forms and all shapes. We saw in Oklahoma City in the bombing there, the Tim McVeighs and others who, for the most part, just look like normal people coming into town or exiting town. So we've had to learn how to reevaluate how we look at people, how we deal with people. We've had to learn about things like agro-terrorism, we had to learn about bioterrorism. We've had to learn about a lot of things that prior to terrorism becoming of importance to society that simply weren't were overlooked. We were more concerned about, you know, bank robberies and that kind of thing than than we are today. Not that those still aren't very important, but they're a part of a larger spectrum of stuff we have to look at today in law enforcement. Certainly a fantastic facility here, and it seems like it would be a fairly significant help to some of the smaller communities that don't have the ability to have their own academies. I think the advantage of a facility like Cleet statewide in comparison to other states which have multiple uh, facilities is here in Oklahoma, we can guarantee consistent training across the state. In other words, as small agencies, there's a lot of mobility in small agencies. People will work for a while, then move to another agency, et cetera. In Oklahoma, no matter where you go, you've been through the CLEAT facility. So you have this standardized, basic training that is guaranteed from town to town, city to city to city, so that everybody has the same type of training. That gives me and the citizens of Oklahoma a good sense of knowing that the person who's walking up to their door is a professional. They have been trained to a level that is staying no matter where they are, whether they're in a little town or they're in Oklahoma or whether it's the Highway Patrol. Give me some idea just how much technology has changed in law enforcement. Just in the early 70s, if you will, we were still in cars with fixed radios. Nobody knew what a computer was. Uh, the minute you walked out of a car, you were basically on your own, and you had a gun and a stick. Today, we have portable radios. We have emergency tones. We have computers in the car. We have tracking devices where we know where policemen are all the time. We have much, much better advanced training in, in 
self-defense and in defending others, but we also have a lot of less, le the less than lethal weapons that we have today that we didn't have then. Uh, fingerprinting, crime scene, the CSI stuff you sometimes see on TV, DNA, it is just absolutely amazing the advances that are being made daily in law enforcement. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Barney. Thank you.